As we all know, COVID-19 has had a huge impact on the cultural life of our communities and our ability to stay connected. From May of this year, we've been bringing people together from across the city, alongside our cultural partners and artists, to take part in a 12-week online discovery programme. During those 12 weeks, we discuss art, literature, music, genealogy, and lots more. And our aim is to keep Dublin connected through culture and conversation. Over the past few months, I have been giving regular talks on Zoom to diverse groups across Dublin who form part of the National Neighbourhood Programme. I introduce the group members to the National Archives, its work, and the services it offers to the public. While some audience members may already be familiar with the National Archives, I operate on the basis that other group members may not be aware of what we do or what we can offer them. The National Archives isn't a place I've ever been to and I really find that that, that talk fascinating. Um, and then the sense of kind of community and connection through the group. The session that we had for the National Archives, I found it fascinating. I, for one, um, definitely converted. The staff that are there are there to help us. The most enjoyable part of that discussion for me was when people asked their own personal questions, you know, regarding genealogy. Also, I have an interest in the history of the house we live in, which was built in 1872. And I was able to find out about uh, tenant records that might give me more information on who lived here. And I think for me and certainly for the group and we reflected on it afterwards, was that thing while we were looking at a digital record that once Elizabeth opened up the file, we were looking actually at this handwritten document. So this was a, a form, a handwritten form that had been completed over a hundred years ago. The other thing about looking at this census was that how through one census form, which Elizabeth randomly selected, how much you could tell or piece together of the household, uh, both their social conditions and their economic conditions, what trace as an individual do you leave on the National Archives or within the National Archives? We think that our collections are exciting and we want to share them and make them more widely available to everyone, either on our website or in person. We want to spread the word about our records and our work and our information sessions in partnership with cultural groups like the National Neighbourhood give us the opportunities to do this.